actually had a viewer that actually, um, I guess, warned or actually posed a question to me. And I think it was a very good question. A question that actually required me to really take off every type of hat that I usually wear when I do videos and really get down and dirty and really attack some issues and really just talk about some things. Not to really offend anyone, but to really get some insight and just kind of offer some understanding, at least from how I actually see it. You know, and for the most part, it, it, it centers around racism. You know, again, I don't reveal names and everything like that because to me, that's just not that's not what I'm focused on. I'm focused on pretty much the questions that they ask. And since they actually wanted me to address it publicly, well, I don't think they really wanted me to address it publicly. They asked me in private, but I think this is something that really could a lot of people could benefit from also if they if I was to actually post this publicly. So that's what I'm going to do. But he was like, well, I understand, you know, the importance of racism and slavery, I'm sorry, and what it did, what it did to the black race, you know, and everything like that, and how, you know, it kind of kept blacks, for the most part, in this uh, mind frame of actually always, again, I guess, playing the victim, I guess, as he says. I mean, I wasn't going to really engage in too much of that, but I wanted to kind of, <coughs> excuse me, pretty much hear him out. But he says that we already know, you know, the... And I'm, I'm only paraphrasing what he said because I don't have the uh, email in front of me. I'm just going off of what he said, just paraphrasing. But he said, amidst of all of the, you know, the race relations and everything that's going on, you know, blacks are quick to say that there are a lot of racist white folks, you know, in society. But can it also be argued also that blacks are just as racist as well? So I actually had to really, really take that really and really think about some really just think about some things for the most part I'm it requires me to really go in and really you know talk about some issues and everything as far as from the black experience and I mean I and I know that everybody won't agree with me and that's fine I'm only giving this from my particular perspective so that's the beauty of YouTube you know everybody has their different takes on on, on information and how they interpret information but since this individual actually came to me <coughs> excuse me, and wanted my take on the situation, I want to give an open and honest opinion or, or, or open and honest answer, you know, to that. Because, again, I think it's something that really, it kind of, it was like kind of like a punch in the gut, so to speak, because that's something that I didn't see coming. But you know what? Again, there's something that I think that really needs to be discussed and really not only discussed, but it really needs to be understood. You know, to actually and to actually start off the conversation to answer the question are black folks racist in some cases I would have to say yes in most cases I can I could get a lot of people that may say you know what you shouldn't say that's not right or whatever I'm gonna just keep it real and 100 percent deep down I think that most black folks still live in the mind frame of slavery you know and what I mean by that is that they feel that every time something goes on in their lives, every time something happens to them that is not good or unfavorable, we always tend to, I guess, want to play the victim. We tend to want to blame everybody else for our issues. And sometimes, in some cases, we don't want to take accountability or responsibility to change things around and make things better. And I think the reason for that is plain and simple. It's the after effects of what slavery has done to the black folk. You know, we hear and we actually was taught history, you know, time and time again about the lingering and the residual effects of what slavery has done in the mind frames of black folk. And the main thing about it and the sad part about it is that, we're, you know, black folks are living in a society these days. You know, and again, this doesn't apply to every black person, so I just want to kind of put that in the, out there. I'm just talking about just generally speaking. We as black folk tend to not want to let things go. You know, we tend to want to hold on to past hurts, past disappointments, past misunderstandings, you know, past just things that really d w that would not that would be a detriment to us evolving and growing as a people. And I think that really plays a big role in how we actually view anything that is not 
black in this day and time for the most part now to just to actually answer the question again you know and just to give a simple yes or no whether or not black folks are racist I would say yeah for the most part even though you know we were taught in slavery that we are on that we are not to trust white folks and that white folks are the quote unquote devil and all this other type of stuff you know ideologies from other people in the earlier eras of, of, of time you know we have to understand is that that information when we when that when that idea ideology and that philosophy was brought across to us we gravitated towards that so it could actually help us to really be able to understand why we are the way that we are but see I am quick to tell folks and you and again I can't argue with this fellow for actually posing the question because it's a logical question that really deserves a logical answer we cry racism we cry discrimination and I mean not all the time that we cry it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist because in some cases it does exist even though in, it, it can be hard to prove depending on what we're working with but for the most part these are things that we've become comfortable with you know to actually help us to I guess get by and anytime that I actually run across someone who actually uses that as a way of moving up in the world it makes me angry because again, it's putting us back really into that mindset and that concept of slavery where we always want to be the victim. And see, the thing about it is that that is a forever concept that we as black folks tend to just gravitate towards. It's like anytime something happens, we want to blame someone else. We don't never want to really take responsibility for the most part of our actions. We feel that it's a lot better to blame someone else to take the heat off of our backs I think that slavery actually taught black folks that again even when we run into people who are not racist who are really far from the racist mindset at all we tend to run them away because of our mind frame is we automatically think okay this person is not black so what in the world would they want from me I don't want to have anything to do and I've actually had and I have people in my family that are like that but I'm grateful that I really learned to go above that particular mindset because, for one, I wasn't a part of slavery. Even though slavery is a part of my history, me personally, I was not involved in slavery. Okay, I didn't have to endure the whips and the chains and all this other type of, you know, things that was used where white folks physically wanted to exert their power over black folks. Even though I was not a part of that, I still understand that it is a part of our history, but I don't want to I don't want to adopt my living based on somebody else's philosophy on what, you know, on how they view what happened during slavery because again, I wasn't born then. But we still have a lot of black folks that really that are still living in that particular mindset. You know, and the thing about it is that, you know, with pop culture, you know, uh social media you know all of these type of programs and things and, and the Bible tells us that there's nothing new under the Sun it's like history keeps repeating itself so in a sense we're actually really in a sense we're going back to really going back to that particular lifestyle in a sense but it has like a new twist to it they call it all these other different type of new and, and inventive names and everything but it's but we're still rewinding and going right back and we're, we're repeating time all over again even though slavery is not out there and blatantly out there where black folks are physically chained to something the concept and the mind frame is still there but the thing about it is that I think we as black folks we hold a key to that to break those chains but the more that we actually discriminate against someone who's not actually black and we do have some folks that will do that even though they cry racism they are just as racist themselves you know there's nothing that really that can be done it's a shame, you know, when we have a reputation of actually clowning, you know, and and it leads into another issue. We have a rep, we have a a bad habit of displaying bad behaviors and bad, you know, bad choices. But yet still when somebody else adopts that particular lifestyle or that choice who happens to not be black, we get all discombobulated all ignorant and everything else and want to go out there and really shoot somebody's head 
But yet still, we here we go again. We don't take reflection on our own actions to see why, how this actually came about. See, my thing about it is that it's so easy to really cry racism, even though now it's it's like it's been used so many times, and and mainly it's been used by black folks too. Now it's almost where it really doesn't have much of an effect. And the sad part about it is that those who are really being discriminated against are really paying for that right now. You know, you have people that, you know, go into corporations and everything and apply for a job. Or you have a black a black guy, a black woman or whatever that has a college degree and put in an application to, you know, or for a job or whatever, and they get overlooked. The first thing that we're going to cry what is, is I'm being discriminated against. And see, we don't even have no way of knowing if that's true or not. All we did was put in an application. But again, it could be. And then again, it could be not. Maybe they really did find someone who was more qualified. But it's the fact that when all of these type of things happen, you know, it puts white folks in a very fickle situation. And see, the thing about it is that that's why I think in this day and time, most white folks are very careful Listen to what I'm saying, people. This is education time. Most white folks are very careful about how they handle black folks once they get them in their inner circle. See, one thing about it, you have to look at this, the, the dynamics of how this whole thing plays out and what it's actually what it means. Okay, we are they already know that the history of black folks. I'm pretty sure, again, they've learned it just like we did, even though they weren't a victim of it, per se, quote unquote. They still know what it means and how it actually affects blacks to this day, nonetheless. They're not ignorant to the fact, okay? But see, because of that, you have some folks that really, they are very careful about how they approach black folk. They have them as friends and everything like that, of course, you know, and this type of stuff. And that's good to have friends from all over the rainbow because you're exposed to different things and different, you know, ideologies and everything like that. But... I think it's very, they are very careful about how they approach a black person. Because number one, again, we have this, this uh, I guess, reputation of being obnoxious. It's being overly aggressive. It's being all of these type of things that really, that folks do, that the average person does not want to be or does not want to portray. But see, one thing about it, again, is that when we get in our corners, meaning black folk, what we'll do is that even though we will display that, okay, we are down, we're cool and everything else with this person here who happens to be white, when we leave and get into our doors, our inner circles, our, you know, circle within the inner circle, our immediate friends, we sit up there and we clown them saying, you know, how stupid they look, how, they, how they're trying to act like they're down and how they're trying to act black and all this other type of stuff. See, that's the reason why I say that black folks can, in some cases, they can be just as racist as white folks. And again, you know, it's very unique in how, you know, I guess, in how you approach or attack the subject. Because again, you know, this is not something that's really new. But see, the thing about, again, we just have to know that this type of behavior does exist. It really does. That's why, you know, we always have to be careful about how, and I'm not saying that we have to live under a rock or, you know, or try to pretend to be something that we're not. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that we really have to be careful about how we represent ourselves out here in society. Because for the most part, you know, again, society already has their view on how they feel about black folks for the most part. I mean, like I say, you know, but it's up to us on how we actually react to that particular information. But see, one thing about it is that it's important that we learn that despite the wrongs and everything that has been done to black folks, we don't still, we don't have to continue to live in that particular mindset. See, slavery has, again, attempt, has, cre has taught black folks, you know, that we don't have to be accountable because it's always going to be somebody else's fault while we're not getting ahead. We know with the increase in technology, education, you have people, black folks that are opening up businesses and, you know, and, and, and my God, reality TV, not, let's not even talk about that because, again, almost every reality TV show now that's going on for the most part on, uh, you know, on major networks for the most part deals with, you know, the 
issues of black life. Whether it be from the ones that are balling out of control to the ones that who may be, you know, have all these different baby mamas to just the everyday, average, everyday, ordinary black person. But see, my thing about it, again, is that we have to really trans, we have to really transform our minds. We really do, because, again, when we transform our minds, our actions will actually follow. And we won't actually be seen as, you know, hip hypocrites. And the reason why I say that is because, again, we're saying that white people are racist, but yet still we're racist as well. So it's not, it's like, it's not, we're not, there's no, e there is, you can't, there's like, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. You, you can't do that. Not when you exhibit the same behavior that you're accusing someone else to, to have. And like I say, you know, we as black folks, we have become synonymous and really actually become quite notorious for doing all these things. And the sad part about it, again, is that it's really breaking down that bridge that was once created, that we thought that was there, that could mend, you know, tensions and heartaches and, you know, and, every, and, and things like that that exist between the black and white race. You know, it's not, it's, 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 that's a very good question. And again, I can go on and on some more about it, but like I say, I don't want to, you know, keep dragging this thing on, but I thought that it was a, uh, it was very it was necessary for me to really just kind of deliver this publicly because again we got to understand is that white folks are not the only people that are, that can be racist racism can be in anybody any color any creed any religion it doesn't matter because again it it all racism is just like i say an ideology a philosophical thought of what someone perceives someone else is to be and it doesn't even have to be true. It's just someone's idea. What makes it a problem is when we actually act on those ideas to try to make it somebody's reality. We have to understand that. We have to really understand and know what that means. That's pretty much what racism, in a sense, is all about. Taking somebody else's ideology or opinion and making it someone else's reality. But one thing about it, again, is that we as black folks, we got to really stop that stop all the hate I should say the secret hate because again even though you may have black folks that have white friends you better you, you better believe it and know it because I'm not dumb I'm black myself like I see when they get in their social circles with their other black folk friends or what have you you best believe that they're clowning the odd person out and they're clowning but yet still when you in person hanging out it's all cool but one thing that I always say is that when you make someone angry, that's when you will actually see the true colors come out. That's when you will actually see all of these derogatory words coming out, you know, and stuff like that, you know. And next thing you know, that lets the person know that that's the way you felt about them this whole time. And next thing you know, here we go, another divide. So I just kind of want to just uh, give that bit of knowledge out and, you know, and just kind of do justice, you know, to the person that actually asked the question, you know, does can black folks be racist and I think yes they can be racist again you know not only do we claim racism in almost every single act of inequality in our minds we also are we contribute to that inequality by how we behave sometimes too but that's a subject to another video and I'm not going to get into that right now but I just want to kind of take off my religious hat and everything else that you know from videos that I've been posting this you know the last couple of weeks or whatever and just kind of talk to talk to the audience on a human level all right. So peace out, folks, and have a great day.